is the sky the limit for these companies? From an investor, if I'm in these stocks, I kind of dig that they do have so much power. Uh, as a citizen, maybe not so much, but you're in the investment industry. Where do you come on this? Yeah, I mean, I, I do want to look at these also from a price standpoint. So we're seeing these things are trading at really high valuations where they're going to have to continue to do things to make sure that they're keeping up with the earnings expectations of these companies. And can they keep going up to your point? Probably. I mean, I think if you look at the late 90s, early 2000s, when we saw the tech bubble, you did see companies that were at lofty valuations and everybody saying, oh, that can't last. But it did for a while longer. So I think what you want to look at is could it still go up? Yes. But there are still a lot of other places in the market that are a lot cheaper right now and can be a good value as a longer term investor. So I'm not bearish on these things, but I do think there's a lot of opportunities to take a look at. Uh, consumer spending actually been better than expected overall. Retail sales are coming out Friday. Courtney, I want your thoughts on that, particularly as we watch two of the big names, right? We watch Apple, which is starting to sink here. Uh, so far, not a, not, people just not impressed, I guess, so far with the presentation. But, you know, that's certainly one of the big names that we key off. What are you expecting? Can the consumer keep this going? I'm actually very optimistic that we can see some good numbers come in. And I think when you look at a, a couple pieces of data, we did just get our CPI numbers come in and they are leading to showing that consumers are still spending and they are kind of moving beyond COVID. And they're starting to spend where, like for example, if you look at out of homes uh, spending on food has increased whereas groceries have gone down. So maybe spending money on different things if people are still spending money. What's also kind of interesting is if you look at Europe, for example, we just saw the Eurozone retail numbers come in and they actually just hit an all time high. And as we're seeing kind of spending across the globe, not even just the U.S., has been beating expectations. I would not be surprised if we continue to see that right. when we look for those numbers later this week. Hey, I want to pick up on that with you, Courtney, the act of talking about interest rates. These yields have been mm -hmm. creeping up. The 10 year yield, I think, could be on its way to, you know, maybe a. Uh, uh, much higher from here. I think it benefits stocks. Uh, what happens if we do see bond yields continue to creep up like this? Courtney? Yes, yeah, so actually, I, I'm glad you bring that up because I have noticed the same thing and I really don't think it's getting enough attention that people assume interest rates are low, but we are starting to see that 10 year tre treasury rise. And we were just talking about the banks, which are still at good valuations, they're still not performing as well as some of the other sectors. But the increase in the 10 year Treasury is actually a really good thing for the banks because that's going to help their net interest margins. And right. we're seeing them also come out and beating okay. expectations. So I think specifically a few areas like the banks are a great opportunity right now, given that information and just given they're cheaper than the rest of the markets.